Today I'll be teaching you how to play The Grimwood. The Grimwood is a set collection card game with a really awesome theme. This is a very simple game to play. Each player is dealt three cards with a max hand of being seven throughout the game. In this example I'm doing two players. We have some options here as far as your turn goes. You can draw from the deck or you can steal from the opponent. Hey, that doesn't sound very fun. Don't worry, you could also do other things, like play a card. In your hand you have supernaturals, runes, or amulets. These can be played. A rune lets you take two additional turns. Supernaturals, on the other hand, have abilities on them listed below. You will play them down and do the action given. This one, for example, lets all players give a card from their hand of your asking. If they don't have it, you missed your shot. I'm assuming if you have an owl, and they have an owl, which they don't, I missed my shot. But if they had an owl, they'd give it to me. Keep in mind you can only play one card at a time and activate it. Why do I say that? Because you can also place combos. Now let's say I played two supernaturals at one time. I can only choose one power to activate. Now, you're probably asking, why did I play two supernaturals? Because in this game, you're collecting sets. And combos you could place down at any time. What are combos? Playing one supernatural gives you one point. Playing two supernaturals gives you two points. However, if you place down three supernaturals as a combo, you'll get five points four supernaturals, 10 points, and five supernaturals at 15 points. So, as you can see, you make a lot of points doing the supernaturals. But there are other options, like what? Animals. Let's say you play three crows or three owls. You're collecting a whopping 10 points for each combo. Are there other things? Sure there are. Doesn't stop there. Locations. Locations include three spots, swamp, clearing, and path. When played together as, like this as a combo, you get five points. However, you can play them as threes. And with threes, you get three points each. Let's look at a turn order as an example. So here's my hand. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and play the Eternals, which lets me fill my hand up to a seven. I have four cards, so I'm drawing back up to three. And now I'm going to play a combo. I'm going to go ahead and play a location combo with Swamp, Clearing, and Path. Because combos don't count as an action. Now he's going to go. He's going to go ahead and play just this top card as a combo. But he still has an action. So he's going to turn this over and then you play the Highwayman as an action. That lets me swap any combo with anybody. He's going to take my combo of location and switch it for his combo, giving me one point and giving him five, which was a really good move. Back to my turn. What am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and draw from the top of the deck. That gave me an owl. I'm going to go ahead and play a combo of three owls. What's he going to do? Looks like he has a combo of swamp, so he's going to play a swamp. He's also going to draw from the top of the deck. Pretty simple game. At the end of the game, Tally your score. Whoever has the most points wins. The Grimwood.